is the world's fastest Q50. This is a VR30. It has piston rods and they slapped on some Garrett's G25 550s on them. It last dyno at like 906. Um, I don't believe they actually had the water meth working. It still isn't actually fully functioning right now, but we should be able to push a little more once that's fully uh, operational. So this car was at the racetrack, I would say about a month and a half ago or two months and it couldn't hook for nothing. So they just put these 28 inch uh, tires on with some bead locks. So we're hoping that it hooks. Uh, the ground is a little wet. It's been raining all day here in Broward. So hopefully it dries up. I'm just gonna take it out for a test drive and hopefully just, you know, kind of get used to the way the car comes on with power. This is gonna be pretty much the fastest car that I have ever driven. I had a full bolt on R35. I was making about six something to the wheel. I had a Pontiac GTO LS2 Pro Charged. I was about 600 something. So that was a little more of a fun car because it was rear wheel drive. Although my GTR would get sideways on me. Let's see if the roads are forgiving. If not, it's okay because I got to test drive the car before we actually make some hits and make it to the top of the record charts. We're gonna put race box up on the map with this car. This is basically the fastest Q50 in the world if we get it to hook. We're gonna add some MS109 mixed with a little E and just go for a test drive. As you can barely hear it. If it had stock wheels, you wouldn't even know it has close to a thousand horsepower. Put the ethanol in first so we can get it up. Just a knock retard for the I'll look, alarm. I'll look, the, I'll look at the knock for you. Uh, ethanol content. Just the basic shit that I Ethanol content is right, right there, 53. Yeah. Um, and then for knock, damn, I like that, bro. I might have to get a Tesla screen now. Corner balance it, but pretty, I don't think it is. Corner balance for a drag car. Yeah. I mean, you want it to go straight. True. I'm so used to my paddles on the freaking yeah, yeah, trail. Yeah, I feel you, bro. Yeah. I don't like this. It feels weird. It, it, it sways, right man. Right here in the middle of the road. Yeah, when it turns green, light it up and then go. I guess.
<laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> ripped though, bro. Bro, it's <laughs> it's insane, bro. Let me see this bitch at the track already, dude. This is gonna put RB on the map, bro. Oh, oh. it's about time, bro. We like <laughs> need to get some goddamn overfenders for this <laughs> thing. <laughs> Squats, it's gonna hit, bro. Sir, prepare ship for light speed. No, 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 light speed is too slow. Light speed too slow? Yes, we're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed. <gasps> ludicrous speed? Sir, we've never gone that fast before. I don't know if the ship can take it. What's the matter, Colonel Sanders? Chicken? Prepare ship! Prepare ship for ludicrous speed. to the top and I don't understand the power band on this thing it's got the <laughs> power all the way I up, know bro. that's why I'm it pretty makes, it makes the most power up top that's why I don't want to shift it all the way up there yet <laughs> it makes all the mother power on the top end tires because they're like slicks like do you feel like i'm cut or probably she boogies though i still take it though <laughs> i still take it no it's like like it definitely has like that in in in, in your seat feel like yeah and this man has like what two subs in the back yeah i know like <laughs> But I think it's actually helping. Yeah, keep the weight down. Yeah. It's definitely helping the car, bro. Jesus Christ, that guy's flying. quick when you're stepping on it. Oh yeah? I see that's where it shines a little more. As in like you feel the shifts? It's quicker, smoother. Oh this does have paddles too. Let's yeah see. it's just on the steering wheel. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, this thing looks not though. Yeah it does. I rode in it when it was like 700 horses. I rode in it when it was like 900 horses. I probably, this is probably about a thousand horsepower car now. <sighs> I'm probably gonna wanna build another car like fast like this now. My Q, I'm gonna wanna just like either build it or get rid of it. I'm getting used to this. And more power, <laughs> baby. One skinny, the match for the rear wheels, yeah. it's leaking oh, shit. and it's kind of wobbling. All right, guys, so my freaking camera ran out of memory, but we came back to the shop. This thing boogies, man. It hooks, but it's kind of swaying, probably because of the tires. But we're gonna see if maybe it's corner balance. Was it corner balance? Did you corner balance it or no? Yeah, you kind of feel it like when you step on it, it kind of wants to pull a certain way. But other than that, it it hooks. Yeah. Yeah, even before that, with the Michelin, 
It was something crazy, man. Like, and then you want, want me to do that 6130? <laughs> Hell no. No, not in those tires. Hell no. <laughs> that car, like, just, you know, going from 1 to 60. And the car was doing like that. Like, you know, you have yeah, to yeah. actually put, do this yeah. for the car to just go it straight. Was, it was still pulling to the left slightly, but uh, not, as, not as much. Yeah. Not. Yeah. I don't uh, my car pulls too, and that's why I said to kind of corner balance this because I know that for some reason these cars just like to pull to one side. If you're trying to go straight, you just get that corner balance and it'll help it out. But it, it hooks. I mean, I never... Overall thing, you know, like what I was telling you about the turbo lag, all that shit. Oh, I got used to it. Okay. Okay. Any inputs? Yeah. Anything that that should do? Hey. Other than the corner balance? Let's get the meth work. Are you going to use the meth for more aggressive tuning here's or the, just for safety? Here's the, here's the goal. That's why you're here. We got to at least do 9.9. .9. That's okay. the freaking goal. That we got to go below 10. Okay. So that's why the customer is paying all this shit. Yeah. He already saw 900 on the dyno. He was like this. He said, now everybody wants numbers. Yeah. So if, at least if we can show on the freaking quarter mile that we did less than 10, that's it. Fair enough. We don't care if the freaking engine blows up. We you know, just make it to the. <laughs> it says 9.9. .9. Okay, that's it. We throw it back to over here, but yeah, we could do that. Man. So with that being said, glad to have that on in case. Let's say we do. I don't know, like 12. I mean 10.5, and we need just that. You want to turn it up a little bit? And then, okay. Let's whip it off. That that, that's what I'm talking about. That makes. I don't want to go next time to the track. Get tools. Get more spark plugs. You know the whole thing. Okay. Just to be ready, if something happened, we can keep on going. Not yeah. like all, like that other day that. Yeah. The spark plug blew out and we yeah. couldn't do shit. I know this is an LSD. What brand is that? Z1 or? Z1, yeah. Or, or, or oh, Z1. Either Z1 AMS, Bob, or something like that. Or even the waste track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, y
turned um, off. You know, like fuel cut off. No way. We don't know. We had like a either a throttle closure, fuel cut. We're not sure, but it didn't. This guy hit it, you up for audio and stuff. Well, yeah. also remember we did it's also like, three inch. Because oh, that's yeah. how we cross 900. Yeah, yeah he wouldn't cross 900 with those filters. Yeah. Then I took him off and right it. We went right off. It'll be ready for the track though. Oh, well, yeah. you, you see where I put the nozzle? Yo, that's freaking boss, bro. So that's into so, the and you can't even tell this thing's got meth right now, like this. Yeah. All right, guys. So I actually drove the freaking what could be the fastest Q50 in the world. I didn't get on it that crazy today because it's my first time driving the car. Roads are somewhat wet. They kind of actually dried up, but I just really wanted to get a feel for the car before actually going crazy. But we did set up for next Friday to hit the track. So hopefully we don't break any parts, one. And two, we bring her close to, let's say 10 seconds flat. And the car definitely has the power. I'm sure it has some nine second passes in it. It's gonna get the car corner balanced and aligned properly before going to the track that way we can optimize the launch and keep the car going straight as possible i have a feeling we're gonna break some records come next friday couldn't do a 60 to 130 today i don't want to rush things because when you do bad things happen and i just don't want nothing happening to that car it's a freaking monster so it takes some balls to actually drive that car it does make you want to reconsider your life <laughs> going that fast i saw turbo p grab the old shit bar a couple times i saw him kind of flinch guys i'm like super freaking stoked to drive this car in the track i literally just drove the highest horsepower q50 in the world in the street on slicks yeah guys um thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to tune in to more videos on this car remember friday is the day that i'm gonna run it hopefully it doesn't rain it's been pouring here in uh south florida the raining season is here so if you don't want to miss out on what i run make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification i know a lot of youtubers say this all the damn time but seriously, if you don't want to miss anything on this car, just hit the bell button after you subscribe. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, Illus.